Okay, welcome to the third edition of the SD14 review in this studio. I was supposed to talk here and you see that we do, but the microphone was apparently turned off, so it didn't work out really. The guy there is Olro. He is uh, presenting his company, which is Atira Company. It's a software-based company here in Denmark, in Aalborg. So now we're going to have a little test between the SD14 and the 5D, and it's not really competition here. We just want to, you know, test each other's cameras and see what it looks like on the computers. It's the 12.4 megapixels compared to 4.6 megapixels. So it's kind of a big leap there, but it's going to be interesting to see what it can do. So welcome and enjoy. It's not bad at all. No, that's good. This could be used for some sort of CD. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. That's great. Yeah. Much better. Now we need a little more color. Yep, as you see here, we have the big windows that points outside, and you might think that all this light might disturb the picture. It does, mm, but not so much. It becomes a little bit blue in the shadow areas, and uh, the background becomes a little bit blue too. But as you see in this picture, I enhanced the blue color to make it look even more cool. And in another picture, I took the blue away. Here we have one of the lights, the Esprit 500 works for the hair. And this one is the big softies, a soft box. And it works really good. And the last one is an umbrella here that <coughs> stands on the side to brighten the background later. I'm sorry to say that All Road didn't manage to get so many <laughs> JPEGs out so I could put up here in the movie. But there is pictures on my website at www.rutifuck.com that you can download for free and uh, take a closer look if you would like to. It's working? No, I'm still getting but I, I have very light skin. That might. <laughs> no, it's still it's crap. You see, there's not enough contrast, and yeah, that's. If I turn up the contrast, I will get those. those but I mean, that's highlights. that's the thing in the computer, right? It doesn't really. But the screen on the 5D is notoriously poor. It's complaining about the screen. It's really. It, it really doesn't look really. No. I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> You see, I also have this contrast, sharpness, saturation, color space thing. Yeah. Uh, and they say that it's saved in the JPEG. There we go. But as a raw photographer, still, I don't really care, do I? Look good. So we are now here. And uh, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. It Let's is. see if we can make it even better. Let's see here now. You can certainly see that uh, these lashes are very detailed indeed. Okay, so uh, Carl and Lynn have been at it now for a while, shooting both macro shots and some distance shots. Okay, now you're gonna do the jump, okay? One. Okay. Yes, okay. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that one was too slow, sorry. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Ah, could work, could work. One more time. One, two, three. <laughs> Too bad I can't do it continuously because the flashes can't really charge so fast, right? Mm. So how did that turn out? You know, Carl, up until now, my conclusion would be that uh, we have amazing color, we have absolutely amazing sharpness, and we have an ease of use. You just walked into a strange studio, and within three or five minutes, you were snapping away at correct settings. Uh, yeah, it is. It, it seems easy to use. So maybe I should give it to you for a while and see what you say when you use it. Yeah, <laughs> let, me do, let me do a test. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we have that there, and then whoosh. We should, yeah, maybe we should have one of these. Exactly. It's even closer. You should let uh, them do that. What is that now? Is that two hundred percent? But I, I can yeah. I can say directly that uh, the five D has an extraordinary amount of detail as well. It's absolutely not a non-detailed camera. <laughs> Do you need my help? No, the left side one centimeter. One centimeter. <laughs> it's very tricky. Ow! 
start coding it again. Start dragging down this thing. Carl, you have to come up here. Oh, that's beautiful. Look. It wasn't working out as we expected. We sort of lost our white background. It fell down during the process of getting it up. But we're getting there and it's gonna be nice. We're gonna look a little bit toughy toughy, I think. This is now from from just now. Maybe you can see it. For example, we we'll see. Um, yes. Very nice. Subtle colors and very nice natural detail. Yes. It's a really a joy to take this. The studio has a very nice setup right now. Yeah. Can you see here? Yeah. Mm, most. Facing the direction of the main light for just a few. Let's keep the hands right now. It's fine. Oh, that's very nice. Did you push the saturation a bit? No, nope. you didn't. This is stand. This is standard. Oh, that's cool. The five D shutter is quite loud. It's cool, but sounds old. The SD fourteen shutter is like a whisper beside it. Come on, you're mumbling. Mumble some more. I have the microphone here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're so quiet suddenly. <laughs> I realized there was a microphone. Take a look at this. It's not bad modeling, huh? No, it's really nice. Yeah. I inherited your light. <laughs> <laughs> for this, for this right, www.rutifact.com. That's my website. You can download full-size images from this shoot and see for yourself. Oh, no. I can't do that. You... Yes. Have a look at that. Yeah. Now we're going to see what the 5D can do. Yeah, now it's your turn. In the highlights. Dun dun. Dun dun. This is pretty good. Yes, but you have to put your shoulders down like this. Exactly. Exactly. It looks relaxed. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, I have a full card here. <laughs> there could be a picture for... Hey, look at this, look at this. Very soon I'm about to show you something that is quite amazing. Okay. When yes. it comes to sharpness. This lens is very good for studio photography. This is the 28mm 1.8. And I really never tried it in a studio before, because maybe I didn't trust it really. Mm -hmm. But here it is perfect. Okay. I will show you. And it's sharp. Look at this. Yes. This is the last picture I was taking, and I, I bet it is sharp. Now we're going to focus on this fabric here. And we. This is now 400% of, if not more. This is yeah. this is incredible sharpness. Yeah. And it's just amazing amount of detail. Oh, I was using ISO 200 by mistake. That's interesting. ISO That's 200. Okay. Okay, the other one the first. No. Lynn, you're such a professional. I want to yeah. have a look. This one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm, it is nice. It is perfect. It's great money. Yeah. Great light, and I guess you. you